Hi and welcome. It's Peg for Stencil Girl Products. This is part of their blog. Um, I am one of their creative team members and I am doing this for their Stencil Girl Talk blog. And there are two parts to this. If you want to see me doing the gel printing, I will have a link in the description box below um, because this got quite lengthy. As you can see, I have some pages in this journal that I gel printed and um, I can show you that process. I was using uh, the Distress Oxide sprays, which was new to me on the gel plate. And I thought, well, that would be kind of a fun Thing to do in this black journal because they're so opaque and they work really well. So um, I am using a number of different stencils from Stencil Girl and just applying them on top of those gel printed pages. And I have this uh, chalk ink. This was given to me from Stencil Girl also. Um, one of those little boxes that they sent me that had something fun in it. So uh, I'll link you to that type of stuff down below to also. And uh, be sure and go over and check out the blog because it isn't just me on there. Chelsea and I collaborate as a team on Stencil Girl. And so she will have how she uh, tackled the project for this month. Now, the project this month is circles no using something circular in a frame and I thought okay I've got all kinds of stencils that have circular patterns so I'm going to use those stencils in circular patterns and there I'm just using the spray directly through a stencil onto the page cleaning off my stencil because yeah that stuff is gonna be there in the future and um, You can see how opaque that spray is on top of this black. I think it's a great thing to use in a black journal. And I have a number of black journals because I like doodling with those uh, pens and things. And I'll do some doodling in here too. You're going to see that coming up. Now this video is sped up four times fast um, because it's, it's lengthy. You know, it took me a while to do this. And I didn't want you to have to sit through every single step of the process. And I did several pages because what I want to do is to create that frame that they're talking about. So here I have the pens out and I'm starting to work on my page. Any opaque pens are going to work through this stencil. And that's what I do is I just uh, pick some colors. I think I have a turquoise pen and a white pen. And yeah, I'm just drawing on top of the shapes that are already created by putting the ink down. I'm using a variety. I think um, I started off with a Posca, which is an acrylic paint pen. And then I moved to some... Uh, Sakura and you know there's there's lots of varieties of pens on the market if you're interested in seeing what I like I have a list on my Amazon store and you can go over there and look and see what my favorites are and uh, so I'm just continuing to put down that white Posca pen on top of the page doing a little doodling And then once I complete uh, doing all of the doodling, which it's going to take me a while, and I'm going to cut to the chase here because, um, yeah, <laughs> you don't need to watch me do this all day long. So let's uh, move on. So next up, I have a big uh, three and a half inch punch, and I'm just going to punch a circle right out of my page and that's going to create my frame for what I plan on doing here. So 
you can see I have these papers. I'm just auditioning to see what I think is going to look okay back there. I decide on this yellow piece and I will alter it a bit because it's very, very bright and a little brighter than what I'm anticipating using. So I'm going to uh, stencil this with another Stencil Girl stencil. This one is from Gwen Lafleur. It's birds and words about fly and soar and that sort of thing. She has really wonderful stencils. Um, there's a butterfly one, a fish one, this bird one. I, I love Gwen's designs. So if you haven't seen what she has, go over and check out Stencil Girl products and look at designs by Gwen Lafleur. So there's the little birdie. And I'm going to use my punch again and punch that out. And that's going to fit behind my window. Now when you use a stencil like this they have these little um, areas that hold the stencil together. So you want to take a pen and just uh, fill in those blank spots because that gives you your continuous line and I usually do a little sketchy work over the top. Um, I'm going to add a little color to the bird and around the edge of the image, you know, so it doesn't just look like a stenciled piece on there. So it looks like uh, your own art. Make it your own. So I have more of those Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to use those with some sponges and just finish out my little bird, give him, you know, a bill and some color on his breast and, you know, a little color on the back side, you know, because the bird's feathers are not all the same color. So I needed to vary it up a little bit. And then I'm going to take some of that um, buff colored paint and I'm going to dull it all down a little bit because that yellow is still bugging me. It's still very, very bright. But I like the way it's showing through. And um, I want it hidden. It's, it's going to be kind of a surprise element in here. So um, I'm going to get some vellum and um, put that behind the window. And I'm also going to stencil onto the vellum so that I have words over the top. And this is another another part of that same bird stencil. And I'm using black gesso through there. And it says, spread your wings. So I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking about how to attach it. And so I'm going to get some washi tape. And I want to finish off the edge and tape that vellum in there. So I'm going to position it so that I can put the washi tape down and make that a flip. Just trim around the edge of the washi. And voila! We have a vellum piece over our window, over our bird. And I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to put a little more washi on here. There's some areas that I missed up at the top. And I want to put some gold around the bird to frame it. And, you know, a few finishing touches on this piece. And then I also uh, stencil the words. So that's the um, dulling down I was talking about. I'm going to use some black uh, pen around there. That's a um, brush pen from Posca. I didn't even know they had brush pens until I went to Art of the Carolinas in North Carolina last month. And um, Posca was there and they had these new brush tip pens. And I thought, oh, I need to try those out. So I got three colors. I got a white, a gold, and a blue just to give them a try. And let me tell you, I like them. 
So I used that uh, to do some edging and uh, there's that blue opaque pen. I'm doing a little bit of top coat. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Oh, splatters. Got to have splatters, right? Of course, I splatter everywhere when I do that, but I like the effect. What can I say? So here is the project finished. Um, I have a circular piece here. I may end up doing something with the cover, but um, this is from the interior. I'm going to show you what I did. So here's the journal. Here's where I open it. I have some gold in here. This is that first page that we did the gel print on. So open that up. This is more of the jelly print. And in here, I have my frame. It says spread your wings. And when you open up the page, we have this. So that's my project. And let me show you, I used um, this stencil, which is L628 from Gwen LaFleur. I used this stencil, which is L003 from Michelle Ward. Uh, I used the circular stencils, which were... I'm not sure what this one is. I'll have to look it up. I think this one is a Tracy Batista. I could be wrong. I had something up here, but it's kind of blotted out right now. And then this one, which I think is one of Mary Beth's. Let me look. This is Stencil Girl. Yeah, Mary Beth Shaw L071. And I had one more little one. What did I do with that? Yeah. It's the small version of the Starburst. And I used it in here, as you can see. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you again soon. So spread your wings and fly. Bye for now.